All right, so this is the next video of my kind of light display tutorial and kind of the behind the scenes here. So this screen is my Raspberry Pi and the software it has on it is Falcon Player. So it used to be called Falcon Pi Player, um, but they've actually kind of uh, allowed, uh, they've made software for a whole bunch of other different uh, computer likes or shields for Arduino. So this is uh, just called Falcon Player, but it's meant for the Raspberry Pi. Um, and kind of not getting super technical about it, uh, this is kind of the screen that I can pull up from anywhere. So on my Wi-Fi, I can pull up fpp.local, and I can see this screen. So I can see, okay, the show's running, 25 seconds have gone by, there's two minutes left of this song, and it's on the Christmas Can Can. Uh, again, that's the sequence. This is the sequence, and then this is the song it's actually playing. And uh, yeah, let's kind of walk through here. So this is the status page. So it shows me it's running, shows me the time. Uh, again, it's already playing this playlist because I've scheduled it and sequenced it um, uh, in the settings here. So let's go ahead and take a look. Um, so the most important thing is the content setup. So what you would do is you click on File Manager here and then it would load up. Okay, these are all the sequences I have. You would upload. So remember, if you've seen another, my other video about x lights, you save the sequence. So once you save it, it comes right here, uh, and then you would click Select File, and then you would find it. Uh, again, I, I made one for the open, a pre-open. Um, so wherever you saved your file as, so if you did Christmas Can Can, you obviously saved it to Christmas Can Can, and then you upload the file right here which I've already done right there. So that's that file. Then you would also need to upload the audio. So you can the audio tab and, oh, it's an MP3. So as you see, it's either MP3 or OGG. So you upload the song as well. Um, so Falcon Pi Player, pretty powerful. You can do video, you can have effects, all these different kinds of things. But sequences and audio are the most important here. Then you go to playlists. So in the playlist, what you do is uh, you make a playlist and so this is my fun Christmas playlist, uh, fun Christmas one. Uh, so it has a pre-open, it has some wait music, the opening script, and then the four songs um, in the main show. And so what you do is you just, oh, I want to add this one, add this one, add this one, uh, right here in this menu. You got to save it, uh, and then you've created a playlist. So as you can see, I have three. I've created fun Christmas, fun Christmas one, and fun Christmas two. And then we schedule it. So the way I have it going is Fun Christmas 1 playlist goes on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, starts at 1700, which is 5 p.m., and then ends at 2200, which is 10 p.m., and it repeats, meaning uh, after the sequence is done, I want it to keep playing and playing and playing all the way up until 10 o'clock, and then it shuts off itself. Uh, this one goes Tuesdays and Thursdays. This one goes on Sunday and Saturday. I wish there was one that it would just go every other day, but the only options you can see here. So every day individual days, Monday through Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So that's the way I chose to uh, set it up there. So that's how you set up the content. And then when you come to the status page, again, you can see what's playing currently. And then it would show down here. So next playlist, Fun Christmas 2. Today is Saturday, so on Sunday, it actually is going to run Fun Christmas 1. Um, so there's that. The big thing about Falcon Pi Player is the channel outputs. So it's E131, that's what we're using here. Again, I'm using the wireless interface, meaning that I'm using the wireless internet to send it out. So my Falcon Pi player is on my Wi-Fi network. It's sending the signal to my Apple Airport wirelessly, which then sends it to the controller. And so this is the most important here. So this uh, setup of uh, channels needs to be the same here as it is on our controller outside, which I'll show you. Uh, but if you're doing it a 12, C, a 12 strip tree or a 16 strip tree, notice how I have 16 channels. Uh, each one is its own universe. Okay, so that kind of gets into a whole new topic. But essentially, just think of it as each channel is its own universe. It needs 150 channels each. And again, I'm sending it to my controller, which is at this IP address. And there's 150 channels per um, universe. And you need to do the math here, so 150 here, add 150, and 150 that gets us down to there. So that is the Falcon Pi player to make sure it works correctly. And as I said, so this is the uh, Raspberry Pi. 
This screen is the, so again, that is that IP address, and this is how the controller is connected to my wireless network. Um, again, this is uh, the controller's IP address, so you can kind of change some settings. Notice how it's E131. It's an RGB sequence. Um, again, this setup is the same exact setup as right here. So it looks a little different, but essentially it's the same number, the same math. Um, what was really kind of interesting that I kind of had to figure out myself is this pixel chip color order. So I think it's because I ordered them from eBay and because they're from, I believe, uh, China. And, oh, from Roland Heights. Never mind. Um, they actually, you would think, oh, every strip's going to be RGB. Well, when you run the testing sequences on this controller, so when it would say, oh, it's showing red, it would actually be showing blue. And when I said I wanted to show green, it was showing uh, red. And when I wanted to show blue, it was showing green. So you'll notice that here on the pixel chip color order, you don't have to mess around with it to uh, set it to your specific strips, but mine was BRG. So mess around with that, you can change it back and forth um, to uh, suit whatever your uh, strip is. Uh, the other important thing that I noticed is that uh, I had to change the IP address, so 10.0.1.78, because that is how my uh, home network gives out IP addresses. The most popular one is usually 192.168.0. something, um, but I think Apple products do it a little differently. So I had to set an IP address that was uh, within my home network's parameters. So make sure you double check that too. Uh, so yeah, once you get that all set up, you would come to Falcon Pi Player, and there's a tab where you can do display testing. And you would say enable test mode, and if you did all the channels correctly and did everything correctly, uh, you should be able to control it and see the changes here in the test mode. So it's set for chase RGB, it kind of does a swirl pattern. Um, but if you set it up correctly, it should work that way. So um, that was just the tip of the iceberg. This was actually the toughest part for me to understand. Uh, of, I would say, the 30 hours I spent on my research and building, I probably spent a good 10 to 15 hours trying to make this work because uh, uh, I was using Apple products, and I think that made it a little bit different than all the tutorial videos I saw, which people were using uh, Windows, and they were using Belkin uh, routers and switches, and I was doing mine with Apple products. So that probably made things a little bit different. Uh, so... If I, I guess I can be your resident Apple expert if you choose to do it with Apple Airport Expresses or a Time Machine or an Airport Extreme. Um, I could try to help you out here. But, uh, yeah, trying to get that figured out and get that going was the most difficult part, but <laughs> I eventually did it. Uh, so, anyway, that's Falcon Pi Player. That's how you load the sequences and the songs. You change and set up this. And then, yeah, it's just going to your tree and getting it all set up.